In our recommendation, we always recommend our customers to add our graft at the same time. For example, we have a specification called R1013. The effective content of selenium in it is about 53. Let's say you add 10%. Then theoretically, the raw material already contains 3 thousandths of selenium. If you evaluate that you have 3 thousandths of selenium in fact, according to your original traditional, if you evaluate that 3 thousandths of selenium may be enough according to your traditional, then theoretically, you don't need to add any more selenium. But, actually it is not. Because after grafting, it can ensure an effective retention rate after aging. But in terms of the initial bonding force, we are not as good as adding selenium monomer directly. Why? Because the first one, selenium addition monomer, it does not have the graft. It is preferentially run on the surface of the film, easy to fill the gap between the film and the cell plate completely. This is one. Secondly, because it runs to the surface, so its bonding effect must be better than our grafted one, which is partly inside the film and partly on the surface. So we usually suggest you to add some non-grafted selenium in small amount, usually in our experience, one to two thousandths of a percent, roughly enough that by this time, and ensure that your initial bonding force can be guaranteed, but also to ensure that your bonding force after aging is maintained, and then can ensure that you have a relatively low low residue.